Bourgeois Resolution, a poem in three voices for added fourth part harmony. Synthesis speaks to introduce, and thesis, antithesis, and synthesis dialogue. The conversation revolves, and we find revolution plagiarizes past mistakes. In consensus, the three voices resolve, and entreat your contribution, dear reader, for a fourth part. Shall we harmonize? Synthesis. Start here with your own experience. Bring here your open mind and trust your instinctive feeling for truth. As resolution of discord demands a return to the tonic, the tonic for our dissonant condition is a harmonic resolution to the chord of nature. The PDF is then marked by a insiglio a time signature of 6-8 and two flat signs uh, which is B flat major. Thesis. Thesis. In a diary of a nobody Mr. Pooter is every man and woman striving, petty bourgeois discordant with their lot in earnest to impress. Moyen bourgeois and grand haute bourgeois, class cuisine, escoffier, classical aspiration, one acquires a bourgeois aesthetic, sycophancy. Pygmalion's elocution for the ordinaire, le roi est philosophe, mère est ainsi de faire des dents, conventional pieties of the extraordinaire elite. How readily the pecking order has regiments in line. Volunteers to a false consciousness of liberation by society's consumptive ills, polysemus. Citizens within a polity, city-state, yet the peasants range free of sophistry. Free men in the confined spaces offer conformity to the graduated mould. Calliopisis or Magnesia where poets slave to familiar rhymes and themes, not golden or silver words, but workmanlike, fashion hymns of safe iron and copper. Where Stockholm once commanded St. Petersburg in that peculiar syndrome, did the people know of freedom, noble lies will accommodate many to slumber. An irony of words pretending a meaning which no longer holds and yet serves to bind a convention, grips that hamper the gait of the pedestrian. Self-censored by a mean temperament, no longer just than a bespoke key, the city gates envelop to constrain, invention no longer a prize, only to fit. As poems slave to the set rhythm, so a ruling class slaves to support its very tyranny. No purpose theirs, tis only to own, be owned, and owe. Oh, such discordance felt, heard, seen, demanding resolution. Harmonies equal in temperament, to guide back home to the unity. One full revolution. As the wheel turns a revolution, as a harmony resolves resolution, a new hub for human consciousness, not the machine now, but organic. The conversation has revolved and we find revolution plagiarised its past mistakes. In consensus the three voices resolve and with your contribution, dear reader, a fourth part harmonised, or perhaps we as yet have to find a resolution. Play on and seek new voices, for our symphony of freedom is not yet written, and leastwise played freely with authentic joy. Others we invite, start here with your own experience, bring here your open mind, and trust your instinctive feeling for truth. De Siglio. Antithesis. 
life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness, inalienable rights, the laws of nature and of nature's God, a constitution written for a usurping class, claiming authority, a reflection of common sense, pain to see this revolution of, by and for whom. Will the chef of the constitution taste his own cooking? Does he, as a class, walk the walk and talk the talk? Or is it, do as I say and not as I do? An appeal always made at once to authority. Follow faithfully, blindly, obedience. Ecoute et répète, listen and repeat. Learn by rote and do not question. To each that has shall be given. Those who hath not will be punished. No one's betters, an issue scripted speech when spoken to. Obsequious. At the sign, obey and join the queue. Wait your turn and receive your due. Punch the clock and answer the bell. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. The bell rings, the benefit makes a gift of what is rightfully yours. Glamorous flashing city lights, suburbia within commute of higher dreams, a stairway to real estate heaven, the only ladder, oh to be upon the bottom rung and rise, dreams for mortgage, no hostage to fortune. On the city, on the hill, songs sung to green and pleasant lands, my country right or wrong, Patriotic duty above the evidence, heroic deeds, laurels learned, myths of Wagnerian operatic spectacle. A common purpose to ideals shared and narrated from cradle to grave, history written in our victorious mood, always times distant, always yesterday, a better day, a past, nostalgic searching for a future yet to become tomorrow. Witty double entendre to pacify, laughing at the otherness, not of our own genre. Bending of wills or an ends of a means which makes a meaner mind. Setting examples, cruelty for kindness sake, whose end? Which mode of government befitting the cadence of democracy, oligarchy, or the tyranny of democracy? Which? A key to unlock the wealth of Tambra, trusting in the chastity of greed, the diabolus in musica descend below. There is no alternative. Leave behind your utopian dreams of youth. Groan. Reality demands that you sing our democratic song, making it your own, no third way, just the chord of power, ambiguous, a capitalist mode of production. Tracing the musical image in camera obscura, inverted and opposite, do you see what it is yet, as the tonic marks a tranquil resting place? So conformity leaves us resolved, resiled, and not reconciled, trapped. Yours to follow, little people. Know your place and praise elite heroes, distant and shimmering, as all mirages inspire the thirsty to crawl into the oasis of illusion, squeezing blood from exhausted humanity. The conversation has revolved and we find revolution plagiarised its past mistakes. In consensus the three voices resolve and with your contribution, dear reader, a fourth part, harmonised, or perhaps we as yet have to find a resolution. Play on and seek new voices, for our symphony of freedom is not yet written, 
and leastwise played freely with authentic joy. Others we invite, start here with your own experience, bring here your open mind and trust your instinctive feeling for truth. The Signalio. Synthesis. Start here with your own experience. Bring here your open mind and trust your instinctive feeling for truth. Ask they who would your bidding do. Listen to your life story, history. His history will not be yours. Be heard. Do not blanch before appearance of grandeur. Pompous ceremony seeks to silence chafing curiosity. The hand that gives also takes away. Often the gift merely returns that which was stolen from you. Sophistication often masks ignorance. The humble and rustic often belies an appreciation of what truly is. Behind the claimed reality of how things are lies a deeper truth clothed in the noble lie. He deceived by the noble lie is excluded as unworthy of an opinion. Being keen to please and seeking approval from authority feeds ego and starves the real self. The devil takes the hindmost, trampling upon the unfortunate excuses elitist privilege. There but for the grace of privilege go they. Discord or overbalance corrects naturally in a system where gross imbalance and discord is evident. Are we to believe that harmony was ever thus? Power is an end in itself. Seeking power to reform injustice is a contradiction in terms. For harmonious consensus, all voices must strike a chord. Power relations beget power relations as the wheel of history turns repeating mistakes of previous revolutions. As resolution of discord demands a return to the tonic, the tonic for our dissonant condition is a harmonic resolution to the chord of nature. The conversation has resolved and we find revolution plagiarised its past mistakes. In consensus the three voices resolve and with your contribution, dear reader, a fourth part harmonised. Or perhaps we as yet have to find a resolution. Play on and seek new voices for our symphony of freedom is not yet written and leastwise played freely with the authentic joy. Others we invite, start here with your own experience, bring here your open mind and trust your instinctive feeling for truth. In a diary of a nobody, Mr. Pooter is every man and woman striving, petty bourgeois discordant with their lot in earnest to impress. Life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness, inalienable rights, the laws of nature and of nature's God. A constitution written for a usurping class, claiming authority, a reflection of common sense, pain to see, this revolution of, by and for whom? Start here with your own experience, bring here your open mind and trust your instinctive feeling for truth. Moyen bourgeois and grand haute bourgeois, class cuisine, escoffier, classical aspiration one acquires a bourgeois aesthetic sycophancy. Will the chef of the constitution taste his own cooking? Does he, as a class, walk the walk and talk the talk? Or is it, do as I say and not as I do? An appeal always made at once to authority, follow faithfully blindly obedience ask they who would your bidding do listen to your life story history his history will not be yours be heard Pygmalion's elocution for the ordinaire 
le roi est philosophe, mais des ainsi de faire des dents, conventional parties of the extraordinaire elite. Écoutez et répétez, listen and repeat, learn by rote and do not question. To each that has shall be given, those who hath not will be punished. No one's better than issue scripted speech when spoken to obsequious. Do not blanch before appearance of grandeur. Pompous ceremony seeks to silence chafing curiosity. How readily the pecking order has regiments in line, volunteers to a false consciousness of liberation by society's consumptive ills, Polysemus. At the sign, obey and join the queue. Wait your turn and receive your due. Punch the clock and answer the bell. Ask not for home, the bell tolls. The bell rings, the benefit makes a gift of what is rightfully yours. The hand that gives also takes away. Often the gift merely returns that which was stolen from you. Citizens within a polity, city-state, Yet the peasants range free of sophistry. Free men in the confined spaces offer conformity to the graduated mould. Glamorous flashing city lights, suburbia within commute of higher dreams. A stairway to real estate heaven, the only ladder, oh to be upon the rung and rise dreams for mortgage, no hostage to fortune. Sophistication often masks ignorance. The humble and rustic often belies an appreciation of what truly is. Calliopsis or Magnesia, where poets slave to familiar rhymes and themes, not golden or silver words, but workmanlike, fashion hymns of safe iron and copper. On the city, on the hill, Songs sung to green and pleasant lands. My country, right or wrong, patriotic duty above the evidence. Heroic deeds, laurels earned, myths of Wagnerian operatic spectacle. Behind the claimed reality of how things are lies a deeper truth clothed in the noble lie. He deceived by the noble lie is excluded as unworthy of an opinion. Where Stockholm once commanded St. Petersburg in that peculiar syndrome, did the people know of freedom? Noble lies will accommodate the many to slumber. A common purpose to ideals, shared and narrated from cradle to grave. History written in our victorious mood, always times distant Always yesterday, a better day, a past nostalgic searching for a future yet to become tomorrow. Being keen to please and seeking approval from authority feeds ego and starves the real self. An irony of words pretending a meaning which no longer holds and yet serves to bind a convention grips that hamper the gait of the pedestrian. Witty double entendre to pacify, laughing at the otherness not of our own genre. Bending of wills or an ends of a means which makes a meaner mind. Setting examples, cruelty for kindness sake. Whose end? The devil takes the hindmost, trampling upon the unfortunate excuses, elitist privilege. There, but for the grace of privilege, go they. Self-censored by a mean temperament, no longer just and but bespoke key. The city gates envelop to constrain invention, no longer a prize, only to fit. Which mode of government befitting the cadence of democracy, oligarchy, or the tyranny of democracy? Which? A key to unlock the wealth of Tamra, trusting in the chastity of greed, the Diabolus in Musica, 
descend below. Discord or overbalance corrects naturally in a system where gross imbalance and discord is evident. Are we to believe that harmony was ever thus? As poets slave to the set rhythm, so a ruling class slaves to support its very tyranny. No purpose theirs, tis only to own, be owned and owe. There is no alternative, leave behind your utopian dreams of youth. Groan, reality demands that you sing our democratic song. Making it your own, no third way, just the chord of power, ambiguous, a capitalist mode of production. Power is an end in itself, seeking power to reform injustice is a contradiction in terms. For harmonious consensus, all voices must strike a chord. On such discordance felt, heard, seen, demanding resolution, harmonies equal in temperament to guide back home to the unity, one full revolution, tracing the musical image in camera obscura, inverted and opposite, do you see what it is yet, as the tonic marks a tranquil resting place? So conformity leaves us resolved, resiled, and not reconciled, trapped. Power relations beget power relations, as the wheel of history turns, repeating mistakes of previous revolutions. As the wheels turns, a revolution, as a harmony resolves, resolution, a new hub for human consciousness, <coughs> not the machine now, but organic, yours to follow, little people, know your place and praise elite heroes, distant and shimmering, as all mirages inspire the thirsty, to crawl into the oasis of illusion, squeezing blood from exhausted humanity. As resolution of discord demands a return to the tonic, the tonic for our dissonant condition is a harmonic resolution to the chord of nature. The conversation has resolved and we find revolution plagiarised its past mistakes. In consensus, the three voices resolve, and with your contribution, dear reader, a fourth part harmonise. Or perhaps we as yet have to find a resolution. Play on and seek new voices, for our symphony of freedom is not yet written, and leastwise played freely with the authentic joy. Others we invite, start here with your own experience. Bring here your open mind and trust your instinctive feeling for truth. Your instinctive feeling for truth. Feeling, feeling, truth, for truth, for truth, for truth, for truth. Feeling, feeling, for truth, for truth, for truth, for truth. Feeling, feeling, for truth, for truth, for truth.